Now, calls for President Cyril Ramaphosa to resign are premature. This is according to ANC NEC member David Mashlobo. Ramaphosa is under pressure after foreign currency was stolen at his Limpopo farm, as we've been reporting, and that led to allegations of money laundering and kidnapping. ENCA reporter Moloko Moloto reports that it's still not clear when the president will appear before the party's integrity committee. Historically, the ANC has viewed attacks on its presidents as attacks on the party. It therefore comes as no surprise that party leaders are closing ranks despite the seriousness of the claims. The public protector is probing if he has violated the executive member's ethics codes, and the opposition is upping the pressure on the besieged president. But despite all this, the ANC says calls for Ramaphosa's resignation are premature. Those amongst within our ranks and those in the opposition who are jumping the gun to say the president step aside. In our own movement, we have taken a decision as the NEC to implement the 54th National Conference Resolution. You can only step aside when indeed we have been indicted by the courts of law. When there is no indictment, that's not how the policy must be able to, to be implemented. And um, we should be very consistent because we have been very consistent. We have never said to those who are facing allegations must step aside. Meanwhile, the governing party is blaming rampant corruption on the evolution of South African society and opportunities it has created. What is weakening our traction is not necessarily what we were dealing with in 1994. Matter of fact, in 1994, if we were to say corruption, we would say, what are you talking about? But today there is corruption precisely because the South African society has opened opportunities to millions of communities that were not part of the opportunities that are there today. The ANC says it is strengthening efforts to fight corruption. We have said to ourselves we need a multi-disciplinary agents that will bring uh, your investigators, your forensic, your prosecutors together one, in, under one roof. At a particular point in this country, that kind of an institution. And you could see all over the world, whether you go to China, whether you go to the U.S. and go everywhere, they have developed those kind of an institution that have the biggest capability in terms of human resources and budget, including technology, so that there is a swift action in dealing with these particular issues. But the party still cannot say when this agency will be established. In 2007, ANC delegates to the Bulukwani Conference resolved to disband the Scorpions, which was effectively fighting corruption. The question now is, what incentive do ANC delegates to the 2022 December Conference have to put the sting back into the fight against corruption? Molu Kumuloto, Johannesburg.